G'day there folks, I'm Beanie and you're watching another Beanie Draws video. This video is me drawing the baby Tyrannosaurus Rex from the Lost World Jurassic Park. Now this video, uh, the bit you're seeing right now, you can watch the full length detailed narration version of how to draw this head in the video which will be linked somewhere right now. Otherwise, um, I just basically wanted to share this video and focus more, less on the process and more on the key points and details while you can watch the uh, time-lapsed version. So what I've got is I've, um, I've got, what I'm doing here is I'm scaling around the eyes using the scales as a framing device. As you can see, I've got bigger scales around the, um, what you could probably call the ear section the eyebrow ridge and the brows and lips. I use bigger sort of squared scales as a bit of a framing device. Um, some of the scales, um, for, uh, some of the scales form a row, as you might be able to see around the um, the eye, and you'll see that around the jaw and around some parts of the snout. I use some lines to form wrinkles, which will also form a, a uh, row of scales, just to change things up a bit. And also, um, some of the scales in the jaw you'll see it later on, and in parts of the, um, I'd say the cheek, and around the, yeah, that pointy cheekbone bit. Some of the scales um, work in more of a wired fishnet, fishnet fash, uh, fashion. Jeez, getting tongue-tied there. <laughs> but yeah, they look like a um, sort of chicken wire. I noticed, so I've uh, drawn my some of my scales like that. And you'll see some of the scales like that larger scale in the. Uh, I'm guessing you'd call it a cheekbone section. That pointy part is a large scale that um that is more framed around with progressively large, uh, smaller scales, so framing at the larger scale. And as you can see here, with the snout, I've um, there's a few bunch of wrinkles, lines and such that flow from the lips up through the snout. I'm guessing that the lines and wrinkles along the lips are more to allow the T-Rex to eat and snarl with its lips using some black to bring some contrast in the jaw and using white space in the top of its head to indicate some light so I'm not putting much detail in the top of its head. With the jaw I've noticed that the the um the scales along the jaw are very much like a chicken uh, chicken mesh kind of wire mesh um, pattern with the lower lip having a much more prominent row of scales, much like, you know, your today's lizards, if you have ever taken that much notice. Now, you'll notice that between the jaw and the chin, the scales tend to change a little bit. So you'll notice I've got some lines that go along from the chin down to the jaw, where the jaw has the uh, circular chicken wire scales, the chin has kind of more road um, squared scales. Now, here's another tip from around this area, as you can see. What I'm doing is I'm making the lips and some of the other scales a little bit darker, but what I'm doing is I am just coloring in the middle section and leaving a, a, a bit of white section around the outer edge of each scale to give it a bit of a contrast so it looks a little bit more organic and more like an, a, a um, kind of how a um, reptile's skin would look. And then just um, putting more detail in the neck. The neck itself is actually uh, out of focus so I'm not putting too much detail in the neck. I'm just going to put in some indication lines, some sort of loose bumps to indicate the illusion of texture. And then I'm going to put in some black ink splotches to kind of just make it look a little bit more patterned. I'll also occasionally colour in the odd dot here and there in some of the scales in the lower jaw and in the neck, as you can see. That's just to give it a bit more of an organic look. And then I'll move into using my pencil to render in a bit of shading around the outer rim of the image. 
So then, as you can see, with the neck and the top brow section, because those are quite um, white, I'm using a black lead pencil just to put in a bit of a tone, just to allow it to contrast and to give it a bit of an old school photograph vibe. So here's the final image. Hope you like what you see. Um, hopefully you've learned something from these bits of information that I've shared with you. If you did learn something, give it a like. Uh, let me know what you th thought about this image in the comments below. I always do read them. Subscribe and I will have even more for you guys in the future. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. Cheerio.